Hello everybody, it's me, Heather, and today I am going to do an extended first impression and review of Revlon's new foundation, Nearly Naked. So this is basically the drugstore answer to my favorite foundation, Urban Decay's Naked Skin. So I'll do a little bit of comparison really quick. So Urban Decay's Naked Skin is $38. Revlon's Nearly Naked is $9.99 at my local Ulta, so it'll probably be around that price range at other drugstores, etc. Urban Decay's Naked Skin has no sun protection. This one has SPF 20. This one, what else can I say? Well, let's take a look. This one has a very lightweight consistency very liquidy as you can see it just running down my hand <laughs> let's wipe that off before I make a mess this I've not even opened yet so let's see what the consistency is like so it's got your typical oh that's actually pretty runny for a drugstore brand let's see it's not going as quickly down my hand but it is moving so they're both supposed to be very lightweight, breathable, easily blendable, and let's see what's up. So the reason I am calling this, sorry, there you go. The reason I am calling this an extended review is recently I was watching Goss Makeup Artist here on YouTube, and he was praising the Fit Me Foundation from... Maybelline, which I actually have, and I'm not crazy about it. I don't think it's a bad foundation, but I don't think it's wonderful, and he thought it was wonderful. And then I realized what may have led to our differences in opinion. Goss was applying the foundation using a beauty blender. And to be honest, anytime I apply foundation on myself, I always either use my fingers but 95% of the time I use a foundation brush. I'll either use a flat panel foundation brush or I will use a stippling brush. So I decided from now on, anytime I review or do a first impression of a foundation, I'm going to do it three ways. First, I'm going to apply it with my hands or fingers. The next day, I'm going to try this foundation again. I'm going to use a stippling brush or a foundation brush. The third day, I am going to use a um, beauty blender type sponge. It may not be a beauty blender brand because I actually don't have a beauty blender because I'm just not in the habit of using sponges to apply makeup to my face. I always use them on everybody else, but not myself. So I decided that I, I need to jump on that bag, bandwagon and find out, you know, how, how much of a difference it makes when you use that type of cosmetic sponge to apply your foundation. So I'm going to try this foundation three days in a row. So I'm going to start now. I've already cleansed my face. I've already moisturized. So I'm actually going to apply this one using my fingers. Um, in Urban Decay's liquid makeup and, excuse me, naked skin, I'm 7.0. And I'm guessing that in this one, there we go, waiting for it to focus, that I am warm beige, number 200 warm beige. So I'm going to apply a little bit on my hand and I'm going to woo, blend it in with my fingers and see how it feels, how it wears. So I've got a little mirror right here that I'm going to be looking in. So forgive me if I'm not looking at you guys while I'm doing this. And I've got a blemish here, so let's see how much coverage I can get with this. Because this is supposed to have buildable coverage. Well, at first appearance, to me, it does seem pretty sheer. So it might be kind of hard for me to build coverage using my fingers, which is probably another reason I don't apply foundation with my fingers often, because I do like to build coverage. I like to have the appearance of having an even skin tone and, you know, disguising any blemishes or discolorations. So... 
The color's not too bad. I'm actually surprised. This is the nicest any drugstore foundation has actually matched my skin in a while. Um, they have a pretty good range of colors. Urban Decay's Naked Skin has 18 shades, whereas Revlon's Nearly Naked has 16 shades. And when I was looking at the shades, they all seem to have either a yellow or a pink undertone, so that's nice because a lot of times it seems drugstore foundations all have a pink undertone, which does not work for me or pretty much any woman of color. If you have a yellow or olive undertone to your skin, those pink undertone foundations are not the business. All right, so let me go ahead and go under my eyes because I actually didn't really put any. All right, so this is what it looks like using just my fingers to apply it. It's not too bad at first impression. It's very lightweight. It's almost a little too lightweight. <laughs> I almost feel like I put nothing on, which coming from a drugstore brand is actually pretty impressive. Um, I don't think there's a smell. Yeah, I actually don't really smell anything. Um, it has SPF 20 in it. Um, again, I want to just give a disclaimer to people that um, they are using titanium dioxide as one of their sunscreens. If you are allergic to titanium dioxide or if you start using a foundation like this and you start breaking out, because from what I can tell, this is definitely not going to be clogging my pores anytime soon. So if you start breaking out from using a foundation like this and it has sunscreen in it, see if one of those sunscreens happen to be titanium dioxide. Because a lot of people do experience breakouts from that, just to give you a tip. <laughs> it's just been in my experience that I've noticed. Okay, um, Urban Decay's Naked Skin does not have a designated powder. Urban Decay does have finishing powders in their line, but they don't have a designated one for this one. Whereas this brand, Revlon, does actually have a nearly naked powder. It comes in four shades. I believe it was something like fair, light, as well as medium, which is what I got, and I think deep. So fair, light, medium, and deep. Comes with a little sponge. Usually I don't use these. I'm just going to use this one time. <laughs> and then tomorrow and the day after, I'm actually going to use my makeup brush to apply the powder. So maybe I'll just do it on half my face so we can see what kind of coverage we get with the powder. So instead of like smoothing it onto my skin, because I don't really want to like wipe my makeup off, I'm just going to like dab it onto my skin. You can use kind of a stippling motion when you do it kind of rounding off. But mm, this feels actually really nice and lightweight too. So when I get here, I'll actually wipe it a little. So here's my side without powder. It does have a little bit of that kind of a demi matte finish, kind of like the Urban Decay Naked Skin. It does have kind of a demi matte finish. Yeah. So it's not matte, but it's not super duper shiny. It's giving kind of that healthy glow. And then this is the side with the powder. And let's see if I can put a little more right there. Let's see if I can eliminate some shine. And it's not too bad. The coverage, like I said, it's supposed to be buildable. So I think I'll be able to build it better with a makeup brush. Okay, but my first impression is I think this might actually be a drugstore makeup that I like. We'll see how it goes. So I will try this again tomorrow. And... It'll be my extended impression. So tomorrow I'm going to apply this using a foundation brush. I'm going to use a stippling brush, actually, to apply this to see what kind of coverage I can build. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.